Mecklenburg County made the first move to help protect our LGBTQ neighbors. County commissioners setting in place the framework for protections as cities across the state begin to pass non-discrimination ordinances. It comes after the sunset of the state law that ban local governments from implementing those protections. WCNC Charlotte's Hunter Signs has the latest and what's next. This was a resolution, a largely symbolic first step to show Mecklenburg County will not tolerate any sort of discrimination against the LGBTQ community. And now there is a call for actual protections to be made. We cannot condone discrimination against human beings. There is nothing radical or threatening about the golden rule. And unanimous vote showing solidarity for a community who is often discriminated against. It is sad that we have to do it, but I believe we must. We have certainly taken a step in the right direction. Mecklenburg County Commissioners passed a resolution saying the county government will not tolerate discrimination against LGBTQ people and called on businesses to adopt non-discrimination policies. We cannot condone discrimination against some to make others more comfortable. We need to get to know one another and recognize the humanity that we all share. The resolution did not create an enforceable protection, but that could be next. Commissioner Lee Altman asked the county attorney to do the legal research to see what protections can be made. For some residents, it couldn't come soon enough. We are moving beyond simple tolerance, beyond acceptance, and that we are setting the first toehold in the long climb towards being welcome and celebrated in this county. If any enforceable protections were to actually be passed, it would only impact those residents who live in unincorporated Mecklenburg County. That's because each town and city would have to put in place their own ordinance for their residents to follow. Mecklenburg County doesn't have that overall power. In Charlotte, Hunter Signs, WCNC Charlotte.